Hi, my name is Wes and I work at the Pathak Lifted Library and today I'm going to teach you how to make some nifty paper edit plans. Okay, today we're going to make a ring wing glider. It is a very unique looking plane, looks like a crown, and you can see it's a shape to it, it's got curvature, and it's just going to be a very simple make and also very fun to make. Okay, so first you grab a piece of paper, uh, and it would do, just take a paper and instead of using it vertically, we're gonna make it horizontally flat. And we're gonna take this end of the piece of paper and we're gonna bring it all the way up here until in this corner, you get yourself a right angle. It's good to be right sometimes, I'm telling you. And then you make sure you have it flattened out, get a nice and crisp crease out of it. And you got yourself, that's part one. And then you make sure you put it at this point, like here, all right? And then you're gonna fold it upwards. It's gonna be a bit tricky, but once you get it, it's fine. And then you bring it all the way to the end, make sure it's flattened out, and then you do it on the other side. It's gonna be nice and easy, gonna be nice and crisp. It may not be even, but that's gonna be okay. Don't worry about it. Now, this is where it gets a bit tricky and a little bit tough, because you're gonna have to hold it down. As you fold it twice again, but this time it's going to be a bit bigger than the first fold. You're going to learn why afterwards. And as you do so, you fold it down, make sure it's nice and crisp on each end. Okay. There we go. Looks like a bit of a paper boat, but we're not making boats, we're making planes. So, at this point, you have these two ends. One looks different from the other, that's fine. But to make it have a circular curve, you're gonna need to use the edge of this flat surface and make sure you curve it out. And make sure you do it, maybe you can do it once, maybe a couple times as needed. As long as you get it curved out, that's fine. Okay, you take these ends, you put it in together, and it slides right in. There you go. And this is what the ring wing should look like at the end. Now, if it doesn't look exactly right, that's fine. It should just at least be curvature, look like a ring. And with, with the color I chose, it looks like a leaf, so that's fine. And there you go, a ring wing glider. All right, so with the ring wing glider, we're gonna make sure it flies. And how you use it to fly, we're gonna make sure it goes straight. If it doesn't go straight, have fun with it either way. So, what you do is you hold the leafy end of it with your thumb on the bottom, your index finger, and the middle finger. Sometimes you don't even need the middle finger, you just need two. Just a good grip though, I would say these three. Then, make sure it flies in a straight direction. You have it like this. It goes high up. I'm not gonna tell you how to throw, but I like to throw it this way. It goes high up, get a good release. And this a paper airplane make is called the V-Wing. It looks very simple, looks small, but it is very, very compact and very smooth flying. All right, so for this make, it's the V-Wing. The V-Wing, instead of like the last model before, instead of using it horizontally, flat, we're gonna do it vertically. With this though, we're gonna fold it like this first, just nice and even. That's the first step, there we go. And then next, what you wanna do is fold in the corners, right degree angle, right where the fold is, but not too into the fold, you know, just right here. And then you get that good fold. Same with the next corner. And then, you fold it, there you go. Now the next step is gonna be a bit confusing, but it's fine. So you're gonna fold it in again, <laughs> down the line where it's folded in the middle. And then you fold it flat again. Now it looks like a square with a triangle in the middle. That's what you want. But like the first step, we're gonna do the corners. Uh, if the paper doesn't seem willing to fold, you can always just um, 
fold it like this again. But for this, it, for this we're not going to do that because it's fine. We fold it like that. Nice and simple. And there we go. And then fold. There we go. Now the next step is we're going to take this end and fold it, but not like that. You're going to take from here. You gotta fold it in like this. Careful though, this is a bit tricky because you're going to keep the tip somewhat the same. And fold it down like that. And then again on the other side. Okay. And just like that, you're looking good. You're looking great. Fold it up, and again, the nose is going to be the make or break deal, but you're going to get it at the end of the day. Make it nice and crisp, and you got yourself a V wing. All right, with the V wing, you take it with your middle, index, and thumb, and fold it like so. Make sure you got a good hold of it, and you just Pinch and move it. Ready? And and here we have the arrow. Now, just like its name, it's a paper aeroplane, but it is very different in make, and it also looks very unique. So, have a ball with it. All right. For the next airplane make, we're gonna make the arrow, and the arrow is a good-looking plane and it's gonna be very fun to make, very fun to play with. So what we start with is that we're not doing it with the flat, all right, you're gonna do it vertically. Keep that in mind. But to start everything off, make sure you fold it like a taco, like this. And then you flatten it down, there you go. Next step is you fold it with a 90 degree triangle. If not, just follow my steps and leave. And just dip it right there. Not too close to the middle though, because you're gonna have some space for later. But if that's not your fancy, don't worry about it. And next, right here, fold it in. You're good, you're golden. And then, you fold it a second time. Like this, there you go. And then we fold it again on the other end, like so. Okay. And then the next step is you're going to take the tip of the plane, fold it right around here in the middle. Maybe a bit difficult, it's paper, but you, you'll find a way. And boom, there you go. And next step is you fold it in like this. Make sure everything's nice and good. At the tip, you're gonna make somewhat of an M. The M is gonna help for aerodynamics. I'll show you why. And you fold it like so. Make it look somewhat like an M. It's a bit tricky, but it's paper. So you can get around it. And there we go. Fold it down. <laughs> okay, so there you go. This is what the arrow should look like. Um, people say if you clip the wing end of it, it helps for glide, but uh, we're not going to do it here because I like how it looks, and you should too. It's your paper airplane, and that's how you make the arrow. All right, with the arrow, it's just like any other plane, but with this one, if you want to really, really straight guard it, make sure you grab it with your thumb and your index finger. Have it at the middle of the bottom or the base. And what you do is aim, you get a good feel, and um, you just uh, release.